60. Two, very, fewer, less, little, few, and a little, a bit. Learn the following adjectives which are used informally and which mean very good and very bad. Note that they all have very common adjectival endings. Very good. Fabulous. Tremendous. Marvelous. Stupendous. Amazing. Breathtaking. Outstanding. Smashing. Fantastic. Wonderful. Magnificent. Very bad. Awful. Dreadful. Dreadful. Shocking. Revolting. Appelling. Hideous. Monstrous. Two or very. Make sure you can distinguish between two and very. Learners of English often confuse these two adverbs. Very means extremely and two means more than is wanted. Compare the following. The maths problem was very difficult. It was too difficult for me to solve. We arrived at the hotel very late. Too late to have dinner there. The lake was very muddy. It was too muddy to swim in. A pity. It was perfect weather for swimming. Not too hot. Too much. Too many. Much and many can be used as an alternative to a lot of. Much is used with singular nouns and many is used with plural nouns. Too expresses the idea of more than enough or more than necessary. Compare the following. There were many. A lot of people in the dining room. But there wasn't very much. A lot of food left on the breakfast buffet tables. I haven't eaten very much. You have eaten far too much in my view. I had put too much salt in the soup and nobody ate it. Fewer, less. Fewer and less are the comparative forms of few and little and are used with countable and uncountable nouns respectively. Compare the following. I've got a little bit of money in the bank. Not very much. Less than I had last year. The weather was awful and fewer children took part in the procession this year. Little, few and a little, a few. Little is used with unaccountable and few is used with countable nouns. When we use few, and little without indefinite articles they usually have a negative meaning but when we use them with indefinite articles a little or a few they have more positive meaning compare the following i had a few friends in england and i feel quite lonely i have a few friends in england so i don't miss home so much i have a little interest in classical music i much prefer pop I have a little wine in the cellar. Would you like some? Rather than little or few, we sometimes prefer to use a negative construction with much or many in conversational English as it sounds slightly less formal. He has little money. He doesn't have very much money. She has few friends. She didn't have many friends. A little, a bit. A little, a bit. And a little bit are often used in colloquial English with little or no difference in meaning. Compare the following. You are driving too fast. Could you please drive a little bit more slowly? It was a long journey and I was feeling a bit, a little bit tired. Bit can also combine with off before nouns to suggest a limited amount of something. Compare the following. Let me give you a bit of advice. Don't drive so fast in built-up areas. I'm not very hungry after the journey. I'll just have a bit of bread and cheese. I've got a bit of a problem. The car has overheated. You will have to wait for it to cool down. Little can also be used in this way. Would you like to try a bit of this? A little of this very sweet desert. A bit of your, a little of your apple and walnut cake. It looks and smells delicious.